Hi, welcome to Three Things Thursday with Robert Hertel. So today I want to get into being a professional. Now I get it, it's 2017 and the term being a professional doesn't quite have the same weight that it had in the past, okay? Where being a professional was, I had a career, stable job, I was putting on a suit or business attire to go to work every day, you know, I'm a professional. Nowadays, 2017, I'm pretty sure the term being a professional just means that you got a job and moved out of your parents' house. I think that's the only requirements in 2017. It's like, I'm a professional. Like, all right, sure, you know? But all kidding aside, if you want to be successful in real estate, you have to be a professional, okay? There's no if, ands, or buts about it. You have to be a professional. Now, being a professional, there's multiple things that go into that, but today, I'm gonna break it down real simple, okay? Give you three very easy, very basic things that you can do to become more professional. Now, here's the thing. When you become more professional, it changes the way you see yourself and changes the way you feel about yourself. You feel much more positive. You see yourself in a much more positive light. It also changes the way people see you and feel about you, okay? Now, they see you in a much more positive light. Now, when you combine that all together, it just starts rolling, right? And that'll lead to more deals, more success, long-term growth, right? You have to be a professional. So let's jump into this. Just three very basic, very easy things that you can do to be a professional, all right? So number one is this, look like a professional. Now, I've done videos in the past on nothing but looking professional, all right? So I'm not going to rant too much on it. Or maybe it will. Okay, here's the thing. Look at me. You are a real estate agent. For 99% of people in the world, real estate is the largest transaction they're ever going to make. Can you at least look the part? Okay. You'll never see a lawyer go into a courtroom with board shorts and a tank top on. Okay. If that happens, you might want to get a different lawyer. Right. You're never going to see your financial advisor coming to the office, you know, wearing sweats, a workout t-shirt and things along those lines. It's not going to happen, right? They're professionals. They know I'm dealing with your money. I'm dealing with your cases. I'm dealing with all these things. I'm professional. Real estate agents should be the same exact way. Dress like a professional. Wear a suit. Wear business attire, okay? Business attire, look it. I'm all for dressing casual. And I dress casual sometimes, right? But business attire is, all right, I got some Converse on, I got jeans, but they're fitted, right? And I got a t-shirt on, but I got a sports coat on. That's not business attire. I don't mind the look, okay? I've probably worn that look before in social gatherings, right? As a business professional, that doesn't work, okay? You have to wear business clothes. Now, you don't necessarily have to be like me and put the jacket and the vest and all that stuff on, but put some slacks on, all right? Put some dress shoes on, put a shirt with a collar on, okay, dress the part, right? Women too, put business attire on, things along those lines, all right? You're not going to the club, okay? Put some business clothes on. Now, some of you do that really well and some of you don't. And unfortunately, it's going down. So you need to ramp that back up. If you look at the top level agents, they all still dress professionally. Those that are trying to get in the business, not so much, right? So dress like a professional. If you think it doesn't matter, you're wrong. That's all there is to it. You're wrong. It makes a difference. Now, here's the thing. I know a guy who's a real estate agent in Santa Monica, California, right? Right near the beach. And he advertised himself as the beach realtor. So he's in beach clothes. If you're on the beach and you're advertising yourself as the beachfront realtor, I'll let that slide. Okay, if you're in the mountains, right, and you're advertising as the ski realtor, the snowboard realtor, and that's kind of your attire, I get it. That's very few and far between, okay? You don't get to be the beach realtor 50 miles from the beach. Sorry, you gotta dress up a little bit, all right? So look like a professional, all right? That's very easy, very simple, and it's actually not that expensive. You don't need to go get a $3,000 suit. You can go to outlet stores, you can go to all these other different places and find cheap suits that still look okay and you'll still look like a professional, all right? So look like a professional. Number two, when you have a listing, take professional photos, okay? I get it, our phones all have 
this feature where we can take photos. And most of the phones take fairly decent photos. But think about this, okay? You're taking a listing for a million dollars here in Southern California. Let's say you're gonna get paid two and a half percent. It's 25 grand. And in today's market, if it's priced right, it's gonna sell in under 30 days. You're gonna make 25 grand for doing that. Get a freaking photographer out there to take some decent photos. All right? Make it look good. Don't, uh, yeah, okay, sure. Send. Get a photographer out there, take some decent photos. You know, in 2017, you got drones. Maybe you wanna get a drone shot, because here's the thing. Here's where most agents screw up, is they go, well, it's gonna sell. This is not just for this listing, folks. You're right, in today's market, it will sell because it's low inventory. But the professional photos affect the additional leads you get from the property because you're gonna have more exposure to it, which means those people are gonna, wow, these are really nice pictures. You did a great job presenting this home. I wanna work with you. You look more professional, okay? Because you have professional photos. It also helps with repeat business. Now, ultimately, your client just wants you to get the home sold. But if you do those extra little things, do you think that doesn't make a difference? Oh my God, Robert was amazing. Not only did I get my home sold, he had a photographer come out here, we had professional photos done, we had a drone done. I mean, all, I mean it was just amazing. We pulled out all the stuff, so it was fantastic. You think they don't brag about those things to other people to get more referral business? You're crazy if you think they don't, okay? You get a listing, put some professional photos in on it, all right? Get the iPhone out of there. Do something nice. Make it look even better, even sharper. I'm telling you, make a difference, all right? Third one is this. Hire professionals, okay? Here's a great quote that I live by. Part of being a professional is knowing when to hire a professional. Part of being a professional is knowing when to hire a professional, all right? I get it, you're trying to be the one person does all everything for your client because you wanna seem like I can do everything. Know when to hire somebody else, okay? Or know when to delegate to somebody else. They have a loan question, loan officer. Title question, title rep. Escrow officer, send it to escrow. Insurance, send it here, okay? You gotta do some maintenance on the property, hire somebody to do some maintenance. Wanna do some landscaping, hire somebody to do that. Okay? If they have legal questions, send them to an attorney. Right? Your job is to sell the home. That's your job. Sell the home. And that's it. Part of being a professional is knowing when to hire a professional or in this case even delegate to a professional. God, some of the biggest issues I see with real estate agents when they get in trouble is because they're trying to do too much. Okay? They answered some loan questions, the client didn't like the loan and all these other different things and it comes back bad on you because you were the one that was trying to help them. All right, well, I talked to a lender and they said something different from what you said. Don't even put yourself in that situation. You got a question on a loan, talk to the loan officer. Well, I talked to the insurance rep and they said something different from you, so I mean, you know, what's going on here? I, don't even put yourself in the situation. Talk to the insurance guy. I, that's not my field, it's their field, right? Being a professional is knowing to hire a professional because then again at the end, they look at you and go, God, Robert was great. You know, I had insurance questions. He set me up with an insurance guy, a mortgage guy, an escrow type. I mean, I mean, God, this whole team just went great. Wait, did I just say whole team? That's a whole other conversation, right? This whole team just worked great. That's like, bam, all I had to do was just hire people to go do it or delegate to people to go do it, all right? It's that simple. Okay, so those three things, those three things, Look like a professional, take professional photos, know when to hire professionals. Just, if you could do those three basic things, you are on your way to being a professional, right? Not that difficult, and I'm telling you, you'll look better, you'll feel better, the way people look at you, the way people feel at you will change, it'll be a positive atmosphere, and your business, up, income, up, taking it over, all right? Three basic things, implement those in your business. That's my three things Thursday for the week. Please subscribe to my channel so you get all my coaching videos, usually a couple a week. And if you have additional tips on how you can become a professional, put them in the comments below. I'd love to hear about them. I hope you have a great week, and I look forward to speaking to you again next week.